Emmylou here. Today I want to show you how to do a Georgia O'Keeffe inspired enlarged flower. So I'll show you a little bit of information about her. So she did enlarged flowers, New York skyscrapers and New Mexico landscapes and she's called Georgia O'Keeffe. She was American, born 1887 and died in 1986. So it's quite cool to write that on the back just because it's just nice. Like I remember going and doing a, I think it was like a, I did a paint a pot and I did an artist, like I drew from an artist of, as reference and I wrote my name on the back and it was just really nice. I wrote the year and then now I look at it, I was 26 then. So I'm not 26 anymore. But it was quite cool to think, oh yeah, I remember doing that. So definitely do the artist's name on the back of the paper if you can. I'm gonna do paper that's landscape and I'm gonna do it with a pencil. I wanna show you, by the way, if you haven't copied that all down, just pause the video because I don't wanna take up too much of your time. Right, this is a picture that she did called Dead Cottonwood. I've done quite a few videos on Georgia O'Keeffe because I really like her artwork. It's really quite nice. This one's called White Trumpet Flower. So we're gonna be doing a trumpet flower, but not that one. This one, I love this one. It looks like fire. It's enlarged tulip. It's not called that, but it's, it's a, it looks like an enlarged tulip. This one's really cool. It's the Brooklyn Bridge. And then this one's an enlarged poppy. Funnily enough, it's called Oriental Poppy. So I, was gonna, I thought it was gonna be called Enlarged Poppy, but obviously not. Okay, let's go. Right, what you wanna do, Think it looks a bit like a poppy, this trumpet flower. You know, like, I don't know if you used to do that when you was a child, like half a pound of top and de rice, half a pound of treacle, and then you, like, <laughs> you get the trumpet flower and it pops, goes the weasel. It's kinda cool. I'm not quite sure if that's... Anyway. Right. Just a little itty bitty circle and it's just going to be in the middle of the page. And then what I want to do is I want to work my way around doing the petals. So it's actually quite a simple flower, but it's an enlarged flower. So it's, it's bigger than it would have been. So we're going to go line. This one's a petal. Can you see what it looks like? It's like almost like an upside down heart. And then coming out from the upside down heart, gonna go, if you think about petals, they're all rearranged, they're not all symmetrical. Coming from this side, we're gonna go down, as in up actually, <laughs> but down the petal if we're going this way, and go, and then we want, I think my one started drawing upside down, but you know what, that's fine. We're gonna go start from here and just, because we want a petal that looks almost a bit unusual looking. And then come from about here. I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Because ultimately, as long as you've got petals that are different kind of shapes, and they all come from the circle. So this one's gonna go, whoa. And then this one goes, yeah. Right, that's pretty much the flower. That's all you have to do. But we wanna do some, I was going to say crispy bits. Oh, sounds delicious. They remind me of, you know when you get healthy chips? They remind me of that a little bit. They're not, but they remind me of that. So then, coming out from here, you don't have to do it here, you could do it another one. But I'm going to do, they look a bit like holly leaves, but I don't think they are. But I'm going to do it so they look, hang on, I just want to move the. I'm going to do it so they go like this. We don't want to finish them. It's just to suggest. Suggest means it's there but you don't have to draw the whole thing. No. There we go. Sorry, I don't know why I sung. Clearly I need to sing. Right. If you want to draw the whole leaves, feel free, because I don't want to stop you drawing the whole leaves, but you don't need to. I am going to use, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use chalk, I don't know, what should I use, what should I use? Um, do you know what, I'm going to do chalk, I'm going to do chalk. So what we want to do, yellow. 
You don't have to do chalk, obviously. Watercolour is actually probably better, but I like the idea of chalk because clearly I love chalk. You can outline it before you do any chalk. So if you outline it in black pencil or black, um, what's I thinking? Black felt tip would be good, but don't do the black felt tip after you do the chalk because it will ruin it. I wanted to show you something actually. This is what a little girl did for me. I love it. So cool. And I thought, mm, I like the idea of drawing summer fruits. Just really fun to do. She used felt tip for that as well, which looks brilliant. So colour yellow and then blend it inside like this. I'm blending it out to almost give the impression that it's darker inside and it's lighter outside. So it's got a bit of body to it. Then I'm going to get a bit of a green. I seem to have lost all my pastels. I'm going to get a bit of green. Where's my green? Right. Now it's yellow, but I'm going to put, oh man, I seem to have lost everything that I normally use. I'm going to put some green in between these little crispy chips. They're not chips. I feel hungry saying that. So a light green might be better, but it should be fine. And I'm going to, whoa. So you could do this with watercolour, you could do this with paint. We want to outline the leaves. This is what we're trying to do. Where's my yellow gone? <laughs> right, these are pure yellow. So make sure they're bright. Ooh, I like that. Okay, then little green circle inside. Okay, so to make it look like it's shadowy, I'm going to get a grey. It's just not very dark, my grey. I'll give it a go anyway. Because if you outline white and grey, it gives it a body look. Check this out. You just smudge around. Can you see? It makes it kind of 3D. It's really nice. It's quite subtle, which means it doesn't look too, too bright. It's a nice way of doing it, though. You could do this with paint as well. Okay. You want to concentrate on each petal. What's nice is if the flower's light, you want a dark background really. So you could paint the whole background a beautiful yellow or a blue. Quite like that. Right, just as well, isn't it? <laughs> right. Now, if you've lost all shape, just outline it with maybe a darker chalk. I'm going to do my petals now, my leaves, sorry. I don't know what's happened. To, look, this is my pastel box. I feel like I've lost all my pastels. I'm sure that happens to you, isn't it? Right. I'm going to do the light colour inside. Then I'm going to outline. I mean, you can do more detail than this. You could do the lines and everything, but I don't want to do too much. Like an itchy nose with chalk isn't good, is it? Then, whenever you do something with chalk, just draw over the lines, because what happens is it smudges it. I do always make it darker here where it touches the flower. So just draw over and then carry on. If you think it looks weird that you haven't finished the leaf, just carry on the leaf till you finish it, but I quite like that look. I'm just gonna do all the leaves so you can see what it looks like. It's quite a lot of effort, only because it's warm in my studio. <laughs> it won't be where you're doing it, I'm sure. Right, so I really quite like that. It looks a bit Christmassy, strangely, like seasonal, but that's a good thing. Right, what we might want to do is you might want to go round it. Now, if I went round it, I'm just looking at a separate screen. 
I might go around it in a yellow. So this is just the background. So I'm just kind of outlining it, but not perfectly. You want to like loosely outline it. I think that brings it out, doesn't it? And then try and get a clean finger because my fingers are dirty now. Uh, yeah, you really want a clean finger for this. Okay. Ta -da! I quite like it. I mean, it, look at that. It looks like a flower in snow, actually. So you might want to outline it again. I'm just going to outline a little bit. I thought that was black, but... And it's really nice to outline bits. You could put details on them as well. But that is it. That is my trumpet flower. Now, you could do anything. I do think this looks quite seasonal. I think it's because of the, it looks like holly for the background. But you could just do more to the background. You could do more leaves, you could surround it in rain, you could do crystals, as in, you know, when it snows and you've got, I can never think what they're called, snow flakes, that's the one. It's a bit like, you know, the bark of a tree. I always forget certain simple words, but remember the really complicated ones. What's it called? A trunk of a tree, I always forget that. Okay, so there we are, there's my flower, I'm digressing, I'm mumbling basically. I'm going to just sign my name. I might do it in a dark chalk. It's really good to sign your name as well. And then hopefully you can use that as a homework. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because it's really handy to um, have a lot of people as I'm doing more videos. So yeah, enjoy doing your trumpet flower in the style of Georgia O'Keeffe and I shall see you soon.